Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. Let's get back to Tectonica. We where we left off, we're working on supplying these guys right here, cooling systems, to Terminal Two or Terminal Victor, I guess it's called. And we have everything done except for the last step here, which is combining mechanical components and Shiverton coolant into our cooling systems. So let's do that. Between episodes, I burrowed out a little bit here. This is kind of where I want to do it. It might be a little crowded, but we're going to make it work. So let me burrow this out a little bit, and then we'll get to it. Looks like I changed my toolbar here. Let's see if I can get that back to what I wanted on. There we go. Probably need to pick up some electrified floor. So we may have to do a little bit of fetching before we can get started on the crafting here on the uh, factory building. Let's supply this guy with some more limestone that we've just been chewing through. Sort that. Yeah, I need more um, electric floor. We've got tons. Let's get it. Oh, while we're over here, are we done with this? No, it's still crafting. Let's grab the... High voltage cable. And then if we swing by the other terminal, we can supply that. In fact, we should grab, maybe we'll do a quick run and just see where we stand. We'll go get some filter inserters. We've got those way back here. I don't know if there's that many left or that many that have accumulated since we last collected. 132, not bad. And then I wanted to get my Electric flooring, is that here? It is. Let's grab uh, 2,000 of those. That should hold us off for about 15 minutes. And we'll put down the floor and we will run over to the terminal and just supply it with the goods we've got. And we'll see how much we have left. Let's get this floor down. Um... Something like that. Now we've got some space to work with. And let's go make that quick run over to Terminal Victor, I believe it is. I keep calling it Terminal 2 because it's the second one that we've seen. Uh, I can grab some of this. We've got a little bit of biomass in there. It looks like that production's actually gone up a little bit. All right. We need... What do we need? 600 and so we don't have enough filter inserters yet, but we're really close. <laughs> I'm just going to push this one stack. We need what? 141. So that's darn close. And then how about the cable? Oh, we're close on that too. <laughs> we only need four. We only need four. Let's, uh, that's too funny. Um, let's just craft that right now. If we can, do we have enough? <laughs> I don't have enough. I can't do it. It's all right. We'll pick that up later. And then we need, yeah, 2,000 cooling systems. And we'll be done. What else do we want to do over here? Anything? Probably not. We know we need to scale up on threshers here on our plant matter factory. Because we've got a bunch of plants just sitting here waiting to be threshed. 207. That's a lot. Um, and we've actually got planters that are not being used because of that thresher bottleneck but I don't want to solve that problem right now we've got bigger things to do but I did want to just kind of check in and see where things were at okay our next factory we just need two ingredients coming in and one coming out um and it's a little cramped here so let's think about how we want to do this the ingredients coming out because there's 2,000 of them we may want to run a belt up here, right? And plan on just belting this straight in to the terminal. I think we do. So if we do that, let's see what that would look like. Let's, um, let's put that belt down because that's kind of a 
a must-have belt. So let's place it so we can um, take it into account with our design. We're going to come up this way. That's going to be the output belt. We could... Is there room for assemblers? Hmm. Two inputs. Two inputs, and I want a setup like this that we can scale. I mean, this output, this is fine. I mean, we can snake this belt around the whole setup if we need to. Let's see. Assemblers, what is that going to look like? Two inputs. Inputs could go down the middle. And outputs could find their way. Hmm. Two inputs. Six. I'm just not sure how much we're going to want to scale this. Oops, I lost my uh lost my assembler. Probably gonna push this back a little bit just so I have room. Let's do that. Whoops. Sometimes you just got to move. Uh, we got two inputs and one output. I'm going to put the two inputs in the middle. Yeah, it's a little less routing. We may only ever have one big row of these things. Boom. 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 I'm actually going to go a little bit bigger this time. Oops. All right. Inputs are going to come in through here. So two belts. Do I have enough belts? Uh, I probably should have grabbed some. We'll see. We'll see. Inputs. Inputs. All right. This one, this inner, this belt, the first one here, as we look at it, this guy here is going to be, doesn't really matter, but let's call this the shiver thorn. So the shiver thorn is going to come in, I'm sorry, not the shiver thorn, the cooling. We're going to grab these guys. Ugh. Guess we can only scale in that direction now that I'm this close. But that's all right. Yeah, this is going to be the cooling units coming in. You, you. And on this side, they need long inserters to do that, to reach over and bring them in. Okay. And then the other side, this is going to be the mechanical components that we're going to bring over. So this time, this guy's got to reach the extra long distance. Boom. Mechanical components coming in to assemblers. What these inserters are going to do, of course, I got to craft more. And I probably need parts. I do. Let's go get... I think it's going to be copper, right? Let's go get some copper. Got a bunch. Tons. I think right here, right? Yeah. Long handled inserters.
Use some of those up. We got one more to place. Okay, that's you. Again, that's mechanical components coming into that assembler. And then we just need the short-handled ones here. Fast inserters. Curse to me, I've been ignoring the tech tree completely the last three episodes. But I feel like I got what I need to get my job done. Okay. Outputs. We know outputs have to kind of connect up to that belt. Let's just do it. Run a happy little belt here. Something like that, right? And then just pass this way out. We don't need to filter anything. Just give me what you got. Put it on the belt. Easy. Now recipes. Uh, you guys... I don't know if there's a copy paste for this. We may run into power issues too. If we're not already experiencing power issues. The other thing I've been neglecting <laughs> is the, uh, the little guidance here on the top left. I don't even see it because I'm focused on what I'm doing. I mean, I can see it, obviously, but I've just been kind of ignoring it. So place, <clears throat> build and place a high voltage cable, uh, build and place a voltage stepper. Just kind of not terribly interested in doing either of those things right now. All right, I'll put belts going this way. So I'm going to have to go. Hmm. I'm gonna snake this around actually. How many belts do I have? Am I good? I'm okay. I'm gonna leave a little room. Hmm. Super not scalable, but we'll solve it when we have the problem. It is, it's scalable, but I mean, if I wanted to do a whole nother row, that's kind of uh, ugly. Um, oh, it's not a real issue right now. And now we just need to bring, bring mechanical components through here. Some, a uh, how this is where the ugly is going to take on a new a new level. We're going to make it work though. We are going to make it work. All right. We said we want to try to keep this direction being the ones that hop. So you're going to hop. Okay. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. There you go. OK, 
Okay, and if we want to be consistent, let's not have this guy doing the hopping. <gasps> Stuck. Kind of have to have it do the hopping, right? Because of this guy. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, just experimenting with something here. Yeah, we're gonna have to ruin the pattern a little bit. This is... Yeah, my outputs. Yeah, let's have all the hops going in the same direction. I think that uh, is a little more visually pleasing. All right, where was I? Okay, we're good there. Now we need to do a little drilling. And this is our mechanical components. We just need to bring these in. And we're good to go. We may have to move that limestone thing back even further. Just moved it. And I didn't put an inserter there. So that's not even hooked up. Ooh, I'm going to overheat. Am I going to overheat? Why does that say coolant in front of me? Oh, is it using coolant? <laughs> well, I just stumbled on a feature. It looks like that's cooling down the mining drill. Our mole. So I can drill continuously. That's a bit of a discovery. Kind of cool. Uh, literally, figuratively, pun intended. I see. So the coolant has a use. I like it. That's kind of nice. Kind of nice. Cute. Okay, this has got to come up yet again. Sorry, buddy. And then we need to bring a belt in to feed that. Let's uh, give it a little bit of floor. Kind of this kind of thing, right? Now we can bring our limestone belt down. I can try. I, you know, there's a control for this. I don't know what it is. There it goes. That's fine. Uh, storage? This time we'll actually put an inserter. Uh, wrong way. Fill this guy up with limestone. Boom. And of course I have the wrong direction. And we saw what happened when I tried to do this last time. Let's... Hmm... I know there's a better technique, but this is going to, I think, get me there. Maybe you don't want to. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I'm sure there's a better technique than what I'm doing to uh, get that belt that is sloping up the direction changed on it. But uh, I don't know what the technique is. I'm sure it exists. I just don't know it. Okay. That belt's going in the right direction. May have to do... Oh, man, I don't like it. <clears throat> May have to cross over this belt. Hmm. What's going on here? We have something in the wrong direction. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that one.
we'll make it work. We may move. Ooh, can we move that container? Mm, not really. We can. We can move that. All right, let's uh, let's bring the belts a little closer. Out here. I think that's the line we want. Get these things going so we can start crafting. Now, how do we want to get them down here? We saw they're right over here on the corner. We got a bunch, tons of them. I can pull straight out of this. Hmm. Did come down, right? Man, it's ugly. We're going to want to pull, have a couple of these, I think, going. Okay, that's an R. That's an R. Okay, good. Um... Let's stick to our strict adherence to having that direction be the belt jumpers. <laughs> Not a big deal, but easy to do, so let's just do it. Okay, you somewhere down there. Let's uh, patch this guy up. Magic is done. I think we're doing it. Um, Shiver Thorn stuff is not impressive. Our production rate. Can we put our finger on what might be the problem? We don't have any seeds hanging out in this thresher or anything, do we? No. Um, I got extra goo. Can I give some goo to these guys? Will they? Yeah, let's get this out of my inventory. And we'll see where the bottlenecks are. It's probably on the output. Yep. Okay, these guys have what they need there. Have what they need there. Uh, this is our output belt. Yeah, let's, uh, while we're waiting on things to craft. Ooh, am I going to be able to connect to this belt? This is going up to the hub. Hmm. Seven? Are you gonna hook up? Uh, how do you connect to a belt like this? Um Okay, I think we're good. Let's Let's go. All right. Oh, I didn't grab wire, did I? No. Let's go. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I can make it now. I've got copper. Uh, I gotta do it just, just to prove I'm winning. And then we'll go fetch our filter inserters. And then we'll check on the, um, we'll check on the production of the cooling units and just see where the bottlenecks are. I'm sure there's something for us to debug there. Bing. Okay. That's happy. Filter inserters. Yeah. Let's go fetch filter inserters and then we'll check cooling systems. I'm sure there's a problem. Oh, is this them? Check it out. Can we watch it count up. Oh, look at that. We're getting something. Uh, you can see what we could do here. Maybe. I don't know if this is an issue or not. That'll help if we can ramp up production. We'll see. I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to ramp up production. I don't know how we're doing on power. You know, it looks like we're doing great, right? I know we don't need to crank the crank, but why not? Okay, we're over here. How are we doing? Got a whole lot of machines that aren't dancing. Mechanical components. They need four mechanical components each. Probably need to get this belt a little more saturated, right? Let's see if there's something creative we can do to saturate this belt. Oh, and filter inserters. Let's not forget to grab those. Let's do that right now. That's going to be easy to forget. We might have enough. Yeah, that's going to be plenty, I think. Other thing we want to do is refuel our miners. Uh, yeah, refuel. Uh, may not be urgent. I think we've got all the materials we need in storage containers. Tell you the truth, actually, let's uh, let's switch this guy over to bio bricks. I'm assuming they're more effective, more fuel efficient. So nearly all of our iron processing has already been converted to that. Smelters, we got to check out. Uh, I will swap you. You can take the last of the bio brick I've got on me. You can take some plant matter. Okay, that's got bio brick. Fine. Everything can run. That's all good. And we want to see if we can saturate this belt. We can. There's, um... I'm just looking at the supply here. This. Let's just uh, run this thing straight in. Okay. This guy's not really backing up. I don't think. Oh, well, it did say output is full, didn't it? Sure. All right. We'll put another one down. Fine. Uh, easy. Easy, easy. Just that. And that. That hopefully keeps the this guy going full time. Let's do more good things. How's that? Looks a little better, right? Looks a little more saturated. How are we going to do it on the iron parts? Iron parts are fine. Mmm, still not fully saturated. It's better. Uh, what else? Do we have... I don't 
think I've got these being crafted anywhere else. I think this is supposed to have iron in it. I'm going to put a little bit in here. I think this might be for the electric floor construction. I'm not sure. We could go trace it and find out. I'm going to grab a bunch of this. Some of this for me and some of it for this other hopper here. I know this is a little... Um, not very automated to do it that way, but that's the way it is for now. And that's all good. You know, I don't really need these iron parts being constructed anymore. Hmm, should I just shut this off? You know, I tried turning off this. I thought if I selected an empty recipe here, it would shut things down, but it doesn't. How do we turn this off, I wonder? Let's see. Does it say anything on the bottom? Nope. Just about grabbing stacks and transferring stuff. I wonder if there's a way to turn these off without having to, you know, disassemble them. I don't know if they're chewing up power. That's the thing. I don't really need these yet. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have them being produced. I guess nothing's complaining about being short on power. All right, let's go. Let's go see. Yeah, this could still be a little more compressed. But we're doing just about the best we can, right? Uh... What are these being used for inserters? Hmm. All right. Temporarily, we're going to just dump this container out as fast as we can. What is that? Does that improve things? Pretty good. There's still gaps on that belt. This machine has everything it needs. Kind of good we were storing these things up before. We've got tons. I could hand bring some over. I'm not going to do that. Let's go see. I know I got some belts that are hopping that are going the other way that, <laughs> that I don't want. But over time, I think if we were to keep playing, I would, yeah, maybe I would unify it so that the only hoppers were going in this, all in the same direction. Any belt that was hopping another would only go the same direction. How are we doing? Okay, I see more assemblers dancing, but the back two are not getting what they need. <gasps> what is this? What is this? What am I doing? Oh, yeah, that's input. Okay. For a second, I was thinking these uh, these were output. It's definitely the mechanical components, right? That's where we're th we could use even more on the belt. That belt is close to being saturated. Close. It's got a couple gaps. I don't think I can do anything about it. We're getting decent production. We need two thousand. Decent. Let's go see how far we are along, and then um, maybe we can do some of the tutorial things up in the top left that I've been neglecting. We could also scale up this if we wanted to. How are we doing so far? Oh, uh, we got to drop off our um, filter inserters. That's done. Planters are done. Assemblers are done. Cooling system is almost not done. Now we need another 1750 about. Well, that's a lot. And high voltage cables done. So this will be interesting. Um, we need to make sure everybody is supplied. I think like our mining drills and stuff. I think we're pretty well topped off. I didn't check the copper. We must be fine on power. Are these the... No, that's just plant matter. I was going to say, are these the... um? 
those special plants that we're using to produce the coolant. But they're not. They're just plant matter. All right, let's do what I said. Let's go um, see if we can place down a high voltage cable. Do I have it on my hot bar? I don't. There it is. Oh, man. I wasn't expecting that. Wow, that thing's huge. I wonder why it said inventory full. Man. That's a big cable. Got some temporary models here. Let's craft the voltage stepper. Where might that be? Last place I look. Voltage stepper. Four electrical... Components. I can make a bunch of these. Let's just craft this guy. Voltage stepper. I've got two of them for some reason. What is... I have no idea what these do. Okay. Okay, the tutorial messages are now gone. Cannot interact with it. Cable, man, that cable's huge. Wow. All right, what else? Now we've got time to kill. Let's, hmm, what do we want to do? We could wander around, but I don't want to get lost. Uh, here's the map. We've been, I think we've been just about anywhere, everywhere, right? What's down this way? If I back up and go towards my left. Did we, is this everything we're familiar with all this? Yeah, this is just heading. Yeah, we're familiar. That's the whole other part of the factory. We've wiggled through all these little tubes and caverns. We connected, we drilled into those other things in the distance there and there's nothing in them. You know, a few of them anyway. There might be more now. We could... Let's see. Let's take a right turn. There's more stuff for us to mine. We've been in all these caves. Where am I? Where's my little arrow? It's hard for me to see. Straight ahead. You know what? I should have grabbed a bunch of that coolant. Let's drill straight ahead. Trying to look in the top right to see where I'm at. I still, I can't even make out. Okay, there I go. I'm heading sideways. Let's see if we can connect into these other caverns. While we're waiting for our stuff to craft. Tempted to go grab some coolant. That would speed this process up in a hurry, right? Okay, got my jetpack on. Let's do that. Let's get some coolant. Probably gonna get lost on the way. These are cooling units. Can I swipe some from here? All right.
I'm just gonna grab a bunch. I'm just gonna grab a bunch so we can do some drilling and uh, not have to pause the uh, mole. I know there's a better, there's a better, there's a better way of collecting this coolant, but I'm only gonna do it one time like this. Can't say I promise, but I hope I'm only gonna do it one time like this. All right, that's fine. Oh, nothing for you, huh? Alright, yeah, I starved these guys out, probably. It's alright. Alright, let's go. Now I don't even remember where it was. Um. Yeah, it is this way, right? This is where all the cool stuff is. Okay, let's look at the big map. Uh, there's some stuff straight out here. Let's do this one. We'll we will uh, go through here. I think we've been through all of this, if I'm not mistaken. But maybe we'll see something. There looks like something we should scan right there, right? Um, but it's always a letdown when you scan and then nothing happens, right? Okay, advanced core utilization, smelting. Oh, and let's look at the tech tree. Uh, maybe we could speed up everything. This tech tree. What do we got? We got 64 cores available. Coolant density 2, not available in the alpha. Well, let's start with terraforming. Not available in the alpha, not available in the alpha. These should have a line going through them. Just so we know they're not available in the alpha. Nope. Nope. Okay, I've got everything done there I can do, it looks like. Portable assembler speed two. Increases crafting speed. I think the portable assembler, that must be my own crafting speed, right? Not the crafting speed of the assemblers. That's Portable assembler speed. Uh, Let's see. We'll come back and use that if I can't spend this stuff on anything else. Logistics. Don't care. Mass transits. Yeah, not available. Increase the number of two volt rows. Stack inserter. Oh, stack inserter. We didn't scan it yet. Okay, nothing I can do there. Transportation. Uh, nothing terribly interesting here. Not available in the alpha. I think we've done just about all of it. Increases. We got a scan for that. Energy. A voltage cable reach. Um, I don't really care. We're not using that yet. Don't really care. That's not available to us. Lights, we could have tried using the overhead lights. We didn't really do that. This one requires a scan. That's a scan. Can't do anything with those. Sonar tower, not available. Not available. So we've pretty much exhausted the tech tree. What did I say I was going to do? I said this one, right? Don't think it, I don't think that's going to matter. I think that's our own little portable similar speed. Okay, let's bring, or let's look at the map. Can I tell which way I'm facing? Let's start mulling our way through here. Nothing else. We'll collect some limestone. Speaking of which... I might need to take some limestone over to our production line where we're doing the coolant and stuff. I don't know that I ever filled up that storage container other than just a few, maybe not even a whole stack. But let's tunnel through and see, you know, see if we can't get into a couple of these caverns, see if there's anything there for us. Last few that I checked, there wasn't anything there, but that was, there's been some updates to the game. 
since that time. We're burning through the coolant, but this is a lot faster, not having to wait for a recharge. Kind of like it. Don't mind that dynamic. Okay, we're gonna have to take a left here. Oop, there's our little indicator. Uh, can we just... I see something glistening in the distance. Something for us to scan. Hopefully we can jetpack our way back up here. Ooh, that scared me. That was the animation for the mole. Thought there was some little creature down here. All right, let's see if we get anything out of this. We do. Advanced core utilization power optimization. Okay, anything else in here? Except darkness. Uh, I've got lights. Let's, uh... That's not a light. Just pop some of these down. If nothing else, it'll remind us that we've been in here. Oh, double for you. Okay. Let's keep an eye on the map. Where could we go? We could go... Straight this way-ish. Yeah, I hope we're not running out of limestone. <laughs> That'll stink if production stops here while I'm trying to kill time. Okay, we need to explore up and down a little bit, I think. Can't tell if that's above us or below us. Ooh. Look, it's not letting me, uh... Are we over somewhere important? It's not letting me drill down. Or are we just at the bottom of the map? Is there something above us? Could be. We came down right into the cavern that we were in. Yeah. There we go. Can I jetpack up to this? Ugh. Let me up. Let me up. Jetpack will not get me up there. Might need to... Put some stairs, I guess. Let's try it. Do I have some? Do I have some? Anything up in this region? I don't see anything. Oh, there it is right there. Something to scan. I wonder if I missed some of the other caverns or if these were added or something. But the first couple caverns I went to, I either overlooked things to scan or there wasn't anything. Stack inserter capacity too. Cool. All right. Let's head out of here. I can find my way out. Ooh, is that the way I came up? See if I can create a walkable path. Looks like I might have. Okay. Let's go back. Check our factory. We can see we can go scan some things. I have a feeling we're approaching the end of the content in the alpha. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. Ooh, what was that? Can I grab these? No, that looks cool looking though. How are we doing over here? Yeah, almost halfway there. I just want to check my limestone supply. I've got a bunch on me. So let's go make sure we're topped off on the limestone. Then we'll end this episode. Then we come back. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how far we're along. And if we can upgrade Terminal 2. Something glistening over here, right? Some kind of magical thing. See this glistening? What is that all about? 
there's something is there something for me to discover over here maybe we'll look into that next episode too see the shimmering area Ooh, i suddenly feel lighter with less worries <laughs> i don't know what that is i have no idea okay, i'm getting distracted let's uh just real quick make sure we've got enough limestone looks like we're good yeah i didn't need to worry all right that's it for this one for now splatter cat and thanks so much for watching hope you're enjoying this series on tectonica cool game i'm playing the alpha there's some missing you know there's a little bit of missing content some placeholder um, models and things but i haven't run into a single defect not that i can think of plays really smooth you can tell they've spent a lot of time on the quality um it's pretty nice it's a really really cool game and it brings some innovation i think to the genre which i really like so yeah, we'll pick it up next episode. Thanks to patrons and channel members. Really appreciate your support as always. Sincerely, I mean it. And I'll see you all in the next episode.